Chef Mark, you've got a very special guest joining you this morning. Yeah, that's right. I'm joined by Aaron, and he's got a new book, and we're going to do a recipe out of the book as well. And what's special about this cookbook is it tells you how to grow the vegetables and then cook the vegetables as well. So it's absolutely fantastic. So what are we going to cook today, Aaron? Today we're going to cook borak, which is a Middle Eastern recipe using phyllo pastry and fresh vegetables. And if you want to see this recipe, stick around, and we'll show you exactly how to do it and grow the vegetables. Yeah, and joining us in the kitchen this morning, Aaron Bertelson. Welcome home, Aaron. Thank you very much. It's great to have you on the show. Before we start the recipe, can you just tell us a bit more about the Great Dixter Gardens, where you're the chef and the vegetable gardener? Yeah, it's a, it's a medieval uh, house that's surrounded by gardens that open to the public, and up in the top corner of the garden there's a vegetable garden where I'm based, and uh, I do all the growing up there, and in the kitchens I cook uh, for guests that come to stay. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those gardens, and you're responsible for that, particularly the vegetable part of it. And you're an Auckland boy. You went to, uh, you grew up in Murawai, yep. uh, Wesley College boy. Yes, yes. And here, here you are in New Zealand on a TV show in the mornings, eh? Did you ever think that was going to be the case when you were in Auckland? I don't think so, no. No, wow. Well, we are pleased <laughs> to have you here, and we're going to put Mark to work. Um, he, he'll just do what you tell him, okay? So, what are we <laughs> making? Tell me a bit more about borak. Well, borak so it's a Turkish Mediterranean dish, um, and you, you use different vegetables but for this one we're using spinach cut them up finely sweat them down and then add them to feta and uh, make them into sort of cigars that end up looking like snails okay nice and bake them okay and you know I guess since you've traveled around the world when you come back to New Zealand is there one vegetable that you'd like that we do better <laughs> uh, it's early days yet. Okay. <laughs> I can't answer that one. Okay, no, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, dude, Miss Fijos. All oh, right. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm taking that to the UK. <laughs> but it's the wrong time of the year, I think. <laughs> well, yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we get the spinach going. Anything special we need to know about spinach? Well, just cut it up finely so yep. it, it can be blended well. Um, and then swept down in the water. Nice work. And hey, congratulations on your book. I read that the Wall Street Journal named this as one of the top five influential cookbooks of the year. How does that feel? Uh, in, it's, I'm impressed by it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. what do you cover in the book? Clearly it's vegetables, but is there tips on how to grow the best vegetables so as well? So it's in three segments. The first segment is... Um, a profile on the vegetables, mm -hmm. so what the vegetables and fruit that we use. The middle section is the recipes, right. and then the third part is how to actually grow them. So it's a practical book, and that was the whole aim of the book. Was right. it would be practical? It's you know how to do it from A to B. And how did you get into cooking in the first place? Um, well, I live on. I'm, I'm a bachelor, so I live on my own, and um, necessity really. Right. You know, you have <laughs> to, to cook. Eat. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Okay, nice. Well, here we go, the spinach, and we just put a little bit of water in there. Yeah. Don't need to salt it or anything. You yeah, don't like we'll the salt it. Yeah. You can put the no. parsley in now or after? Oh, we can put it in now. Oh, there. yeah, cool. There you go. So I knew it needed a little bit of salt. So obviously, you know, working in that beautiful garden, a lot of pressure to maintain its heritage and its history. Have you enjoyed your time there? Oh, it's fantastic, and I enjoy it every day there. It's it's an e ever-evolving garden. It's not a, it's not a museum to anything. It's a, it's a living garden, so you know it changes all the time, and we don't have to worry about the past. We can look to the future, but we you know the, the past is very important at Great Dixter. Yeah, true. I could imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah world famous, isn't it? And Christopher Lloyd. Is yes, it? Christopher yeah. Lloyd. He, he he was born there in 1921 and spent his whole life there and, and died live it still alone in the house. Brilliant. Okay, and we're carrying on the legacy of great food and surroundings by having Aaron in the kitchen today. And can I just say, I know that's just spinach and water, but it smells incredible. <laughs> what do we need to do next? So we're going to strain it, yep. get all the, the, the liquid out, um, because spinach does release a lot of uh, water, but it also, it also will retain it, and when you cook it, you don't want it to get s soggy. So well, no, that's what I do, Aaron. I tend to overcook it. So yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make it like mush. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and then just drain it off. Okay. Do you squeeze it when you're draining well, it? Or I do think you... Yeah, you know the, the the spoon is taking out all the extra right. liquid, so you don't need to dr strain it. Well, I certainly don't bother. I'm I'm quite a lazy cook in a lot of ways. It's my style is simple country, so oh, good. I, like uh, it, I don't fuss <laughs> around too long. Um, so yeah, and then blend it all together. Nice. And I guess you get the advantage of just picking up vegetables in the garden and experimenting. Yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about growing your own vegetables. You're basic, basing your, re your cooking on the seasons rather than the supermarkets. Right, OK, cool. So you've got cooking all year round. Yeah. Seasonal cooking. That's it, and if you grow your own vegetables, like, you get so much more flavour, don't you? Absolutely, I mean, it's, it's just... a different vegetable. 
What would be your number one tip for growing? I know you probably get asked this all the time. Is it about the soil? Is it about your maintenance? Or is it about making sure you've got the right size garden for you to manage? Well, soil's incredibly important because it's giving the plant the nutrients. So right. if the soil's bad, you're, you're eating bad food. So what you're, it's growing in is incredibly important. OK, nice. We'll get more of your tips and we'll see how to do this as we finish it off here. Great to have Aaron here. And we'll tell you more about his incredible book as well. We are so lucky to have chef and vegetable gardener Aaron Bertelson from the UK. He's from one of the most well-known historic houses, the Great Dixter. And he's preparing boric snails for us this morning from his incredible cookbook. And I know you're in New Zealand. Did you you bring your family to the show today too? Oh, yes, I did. Who yes, have you got yeah. over there? I think my all... father and my sisters and oh. family friends. Oh, nice. Hey, <laughs> nice to see you guys. Must be good to see you. We're putting you to work though, yes. aren't we? So yeah, it's yeah. good. They can spend some time watching you cook. <laughs> Do they make you cook when, they, when, when you come home? Uh, sometimes, especially my sister, yes. She yeah, does. I would yeah. too. Yeah, good yeah. work. <laughs> okay, so we've made our mixture. Yeah. What do we need to do now? Now we need to think about Cuban cigar rolling. Okay. So we need to put the... Um, Something I do on a regular basis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and mix along. Okay. So, and we're using phyllo pastry. We're aren't using we? phyllo pastry. A couple of sheets. Bring it all in like that. Yes. You and do one, and then I'll see if I can you replicate can, yeah. you. So, a couple of sheets. Yeah. And then just tightly roll it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you could do that, Mike. I'm sure I could do that. And then think snail. Okay. There's the snail part. And there we have one. Over to you. OK, OK, here we go. <laughs> Pressure's on. And then, My goodness. So what about the oil? We'll We're going to put it... that on at the end. We'll put okay, the so two we'll together and then put some oil on at the end. OK, is that too much or am I doing No, no, right? just as long as there's enough for the whole oh, yeah. length. I'm just, I'm just getting the recipe out. I'm just going to check, oh, gonna check <laughs> the shape yeah. against the uh, picture after when he does it. How hard was it to put that cookbook together? Uh, it was had it its moments. One? It was my first book. Wow. But, uh, it had its moments, but it was it was interesting to do. It was um, quite interesting to think about writing and the way you garden. Um, I suddenly realised what an influence my grandfather had been on my uh, gar how I gardened now as a vegetable gardener himself. It's right. Sort of, and what um, sort of influence are you talking about? Well, there? he gardened on our family um, uh, property, and uh, I used to help him um, in the garden sometimes. Right. And suddenly the way he did things came back. Right, it all made yeah. sense. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice tribute to your grandfather as well. He'd be yes. so proud of you. OK, am I doing all right? Yeah, it looks perfect. OK, good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> OK, well, it's like, it's like doing the washing at home. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so now I've done that, and then I've got to think snail. So do it that way or the other way? That Whichever way. way and just... OK, cool. OK. Oh, you don't want to rip it, though, do you? No. OK. Wow, look at that. It's awesome. And put them on there. Put those two together so they close close each other up. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, very pass happy. Yes, oh, you, good. You and then a little oil to give yep. it some colour. Oh, look at this. So simple. That's what I yes, love. Yes, yeah. Well, that's my Fresh, style. Fresh, flavoursome and simple. Yeah. And you were saying before you can use, you know, whatever vegetables yeah, in the season in the garden. it's a very seasonal thing. Yeah, yeah which is great. And so what will the vegetables will be really good in there? Uh, lots of different green herbs, um, chards, you can use chards if you've oh, yeah. got spinach ready, chards, that's sort of, all those sort of green vegetables that can be steamed down lightly and then blended with the feta, so... Fantastic. Um, it is, you know, whatever's in season at the time. Cool. Jeez, you've certainly lost your Kiwi accent, haven't yeah. you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but we love having you here, and while you are here, speaking of food, uh, is there any particular food that you miss when you're overseas? When you get back to New Zealand, you're like, oh, I just can't wait to taste that. Um, a giant licorice all sorts. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. but I, I don't think they make them anymore, but um, they were my favourite. And as part of the book launch, you've got a special evening where people can come along and hear more about the great book and life at the Great Dixters. That should yeah. be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. And I hear that they sell out really fast, these events, so hurry up, get your tickets. Tuesday, the 26th of September, 7pm. It's only $10 and it's free for GDSNZ members and it'll be held at Unitech. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your time here while you're here. Thanks a lot. We'll check out how these turn out towards the end of the show. Okay. Can I just say, great having you on the show. Um, are you pleased with how these turned out? Very pleased, John. Nice. Perfect. I'm going to eat them soon too. <laughs>